Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here. I'm re-recording my review of Horizon Zero Dawn. It has some OBS issues, uh, kind of conflicting between OBS and uh, voice meter, which is how I'm software-wise routing the sound from one PC to the other when I'm playing something on PC, because uh, I haven't got around to getting a hardware solution to that with the mixer, but eventually I will. We won't have any of the other issues, hopefully. So let's get into Horizon Zero Dawn. DLDR, I played this game when it came out on console, uh, just not on the channel, kind of played it uh, freely my own time. I really love the game. And fortunately, with five years removed at this point, I'd actually forgotten a lot of the story. And so this was a really good refresher going through and playing, uh, playing the game again, preparing for the sequel. The biggest thing that I love about this game is the environments, the idea that it's a post-apocalyptic but completely apocalyptic world. So you're on Earth, but it's vast, uh, vastly different. You have some references to real world locations, things like that. So you get an idea where you are, but yet it's an entirely different world. I kind of like how that uh, left it unconstrained in that manner. And that kind of goes with the storyline itself, which I thought even playing it the first time and now the second time is a really good storyline. It stands the test of time. And I think this is probably, uh, if not the best exclusive game that's come out for PlayStation in years. I know it came out with PlayStation 4 originally in that in 2017. And it was definitely, when it first came out, the best game, exclusive game. Since then, we've had some other exclusive games, but... I think this still takes the cake for this one. Uh, one of the biggest things also in this is that this is a game from 2017. So playing it on PC this time around, there's a lot of quality of life stuff that I would expect in games at this point. But it was a pretty good port in that there was no real issues, anything like that. I uh, played it on the hardest difficulty. It is pretty hard in some of the challenges, things like that. But I really do like how a lot of the collectibles and things like that, you can actually buy the locations. So it kind of makes it less tedious where you have to search and you're kind of looking around for all those things. Uh, like in Far Cry, which can get annoying after a while. So that kind of alleviates the whole thing in that. And the map reveal, even though you are kind of doing a tower like reveal like you'd see in ubisoft games things like that in horizon zero dawn you don't really feel the vibe that it gets tedious because you're going into an area that you may not have went in in the first place and there's different uh, machines enemies things of that nature and it kind of introduces you to both enemies but also some locations around and actually gets you in different environments and there's only like six, seven of these instances where you reveal a large portion of the map and it doesn't feel tedious at all with that. As opposed to say like Assassin's Creed, uh, I think the one that was set in Egypt, the map was so large and the fact that you had to go around and reveal it you have like 20 or 30 locations you had to do that. And that seemed tedious from there. In this game, you don't feel any of that tediousness. Uh, that's even a word. So I would say if you have a PS4, I think also that this is on next gen. I could be wrong with that. But also on PC and you haven't actually played this game and you like single player RPGs with a good story, I mean, this is the game for you. So, not as probably good as the first time I recorded this, but hey, you have issues. We all aren't perfect, and I tend to screw with a lot of things up when it comes to this. But hey, that kind of happens. So that'll be it for this video. We're going to be starting uh, Horizon Forbidden West, the sequel, tomorrow, which is Monday. So if you are 
watching this and it's past Monday, well, it'll also be on the channel if you want to check it out. That won't be on PS5 on that, the uh, next gen uh, edition. So that's what I have. That's what we'll be working with. Uh, no PC probably years from now. I think Horizon Zero Dawn took like three to four years to come out on PC uh, before I jump back into it. So give me on PS5. It's going to be a blast, fun, exploring this whole new world and going into the West. So thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys in the next one.